Tim the Blacksmith, welcome here. It is fantastic to have you here today because we are gonna work on building my version of a Damascus lighter. I've always liked lighters and I'm so stoked. We're gonna try to do Damascus with a feather pattern under the power hammer, weld it up, and then jump to the milling machine and carve it out. So tons of power hammer work, machine work, all the stuff that we love. Fantastic to have you here. Stick around, this is gonna be a good one. Okay, so I just got the material prepped here. If you're unfamiliar with what Damascus steel is, is basically it's different types of steel that you layer together. So I have a 1075 and a 15 and 20. And then you stick them in the forge, heat them to a semi-molten state, and then fuse them into one. And then you forge that thin and you flip it over and kind of repeat that process. And you get these really fine layers of material. And then when you etch it, the material is edged differently and you get that contrast, a really cool pattern. And the feather Damascus is just a style of pattern that we're going for. So I'm just gonna now clamp these in the vise, TIG weld across the top and the bottom just to hold it together so that in the forge we can heat it up and then put it under power hammer, which is gonna be awesome. Looking forward to the next couple steps here. All right, I'm so pumped up. That went so good. I got a little bit scared off the first couple welds because there was two layers that separated on the one side, but I was able to take a couple more heats and it just stuck together. It's really, really happy. Um, so much fun, just so much fun. The only thing I'm slightly nervous about is this peg didn't move, it's lopsided. And the important thing with this particular Damascus pattern is that so critical that the material moves the same because there's a center line to it. And so if it's off center, it looks stupid. So hopefully we got it. I got a ton of material here for our project. So that hope that if there's anything messy, I can cut out a good section. So anyways, I'm gonna let this cool off and we'll get to the next step. <laughs> Welcome to day two of the build. And first time in the Toyota 4Runner. Anybody else drive early 90s Toyota out there? Let me know in the comments below. Someday we'll go over the story of this guy. It's got the story. 
Anyways, I had to leave Martin at the shop to grind the Damascus, so I haven't seen it after it's been ground. That's the first pass. So really looking forward to that. I'm not 100% sure how many layers we're gonna do, but I'm gonna kind of watch and see how it goes. Uh, sometimes these builds, you know, they take a long time. They take quite a few days, and that's hard to convey sort of in the video. Anyways, excited to see the Damascus checking with Martin. Get going on the next step here. Oh, look at that mess. That's from all the welding, the borax. Martin! Where's the Damascus? Let me see this bait. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? How many? The hang on. worst. The worst? So hard. Oh, no. Martin's doing some uh, maintenance on the milling machine here. Get it all prepped up for the next part of this build. Let me see it, let me see it. Oh, he hit it on me. Oh, look at this. This looks... Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let me see it. Are you sure? I'm ready. Let me see it. Oh, baby. Okay, it's not as cool anymore. Oh, it's not? That looks awesome. Okay, well, that says it's a lot better. Dude. It was much as a... There it is. First pass, first grind. Now we're gonna start slicing it up, restacking it. Nice work. That looks awesome. It looks so good. Yes. All right, here we go, round two. Is where it's at at this stage. Now I'm gonna let it cool off, regrind it, stack it back up. Okay, so I've just got it all marked out again, and now we're gonna cut it, stack it, tack it. You're like, Tim, are you just doing the same thing over and over again? Tell me about it, right? This one be a little bit different, and we're almost done, getting close. Looking forward to seeing that pattern.
Okay, so we just got these parts cooling off here, almost cold. So this is the split here. And then I gotta put it back together here. So one more weld. And uh, I'm a little bit nervous about how it turned out. I wish that I would have dulled my punch a little bit more, my chisel a little bit more to really drag that together. But I also have one part here that's starting to unseam a little bit. So hopefully I can get this. Next step, here we go. So there's the piece in the forge, I brought it up to temperature and now I'm going to shut the forge down and just let it cool super slow overnight, annealing it so it's really soft for the next operation machining. We'll look forward to uh, taking a peek at the pattern tomorrow and seeing what it looks like. Day, time to get at it. That part should be all soft in the forge, so we'll take a look at it, and see how it looks. So here it is. I'm just going to do a quick grind on it and then a really quick etch just to see the pattern so that I can pick a spot to start machining the case out of it. Exciting times. Okay, so I've just ground this and done a really preliminary grind, um, just enough so that we can hopefully see the uh, pattern through this etchant. And this is uh, just instant coffee, and that's going to corrode the surface just a little bit so that we'll see the pattern. So we'll put this in here, like that, it's just a little bit warm from grinding. Let it sit for about 10 minutes or so, and then see our pattern, see how things are looking. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna pull this out and see if we can see the pattern. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah. I'll pull it in closer here so hopefully you can see it. It's very faint though. So it's pretty tough for you to see. It's so light right now, which is fine for me. I can see it better in real life, but we just need to know there's some better spots or not, but overall it looks really, really sweet. Super looking forward to this project to see it all come together. So what we're going to do now is just do our layout on this part and then Martin's going to take it and start machining this bad boy. Hopefully everything goes well. We don't have any problems and don't screw this part up. That's the hope. That's the dream. That's the vision. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, so here's the two parts just cut out, bottom, top. It's really important that we keep the pattern, these pieces the right way so the pattern doesn't get mixed up. And we also parted it on the smallest bands I have in the shop to try to keep the material loss as minimal so that when this sits tight, the pattern looks good. And then next up, this is going up in the mill and then Martin's gonna take it and machine this slot in here. We've left it as fat as we can at this point to give stability and then we'll reduce it to the final thickness after the slots in there and the same thing for the top part here. Okay, we're gonna try this to see if this fits here. Big moment. Deals a little bit tight still, but man, that's close. Oh, that looks so good. Snake. All right, I guess we got a little bit more work to do here. Okay, this is it. This should be the final finish. You're up, Martin. Let's try this baby out. All your hard work. Here we go. Don't leave me hanging. How's it look? Oh, that's a piece of junk. Let's throw it away and restart. Sweet. That is perfect. Look at that. Killer job. Killer job, Martin. Just doing the machine here, and I'm going to start working on the hinge for the case. I'm going to find a thin piece of stainless. We're going to try to just bend that over, kind of monkey our way through this, and hopefully it's going to work.
So this is the part just finished filed. And now Martin has just started into the hand sanding. He is gonna be sanding forever. How do you feel about that, Martin? Super pumped. next day and I don't even know where I left off with telling you what day it is we've it was supposed to be done so long ago and we've been working so hard just for context Martin spent all day hand sanding yesterday and I helped quite a few hours too I'll show you where it's at and I'm really hoping today we get it done it actually has to be done today because the video has to post today let's take a look here's the finished piece polished and it looks absolutely insane. It is so sweet. So that is it turned out really good. I'm super nervous about the next step because we have to rivet the hinge on and it, it doesn't really make sense that you'd polish it all first and then do that. But I wanted to make sure that we could get at it like for polishing and then just set the rivets and then just do minimal cleanups. So that's why we did it like that. I'm very nervous because the, the side is so thin. Oh, that's super hard to see. So I hope like crazy nothing bad happens. I'm gonna use this brazing rod. The white stuff is flux, but the inside is 1 16th diameter as the rivet. So big time cross fingers that this works because if it doesn't, we're just not going there, okay? <music> This is my crazy setup I had to make for the hinge. This is the hinge here, this is the rivet, and then this is the lid. A little bit challenged to see what's going on, but this is actually Martin's hands holding the part down. Now I'm coming in with a punch, whoa. Okay, this is the third rivet. Okay, last rivet, here we go. That is insane. It's got more weight to it for sure. You look at this and there is no way you believe it's Damascus steel. There's just no indication from it. Just got it soaking in some acetone here to get the grease off and everything before we put it into the coffee for etching. Instant coffee. It'll make you think twice about drinking this stuff. And we'll let that sit for about 20 minutes and then take a look at it. Longest 20 minutes of my life. 20 minutes. So, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Oh man, that's the biggest letdown ever. <laughs> it is Damascus steel though. <laughs> that's going to need more than 20 minutes. Oh boy, did anything happen? All right, we'll be back after the messages. <laughs> so here's the update. Uh, we seriously increased the concentration of the coffee. Like almost all of that is in there. And we're just going to let it sit for a bit more. 
see what happens. It also is pretty cold in the shop, so I'm wondering if that has a difference, because we did some sample etches uh, before and seemed to work pretty quick, so I'm not sure what's going on. Stay tuned. So just while this piece is etching, just jump on here and uh, thank you for watching. I know this has been a long video. It's because it's been a long project, a lot longer than I was originally thinking it was gonna take, but it's gonna be worth it, I'm almost sure of it. So would love it if you would consider subscribing and like this video, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. And now let's go take a peek at this pattern and see how it looks. Okay, it's been sitting overnight, and now we're gonna take a look at it here. This is it. Oh my goodness.